Shannon, how great was this moment and how fantastic is Otani? Skip, the last two world events, I don't know if we can get any better. You remember the, uh, uh, the World Cup? And we had Mbappe and Lionel Messi going goal for goal, and he goes extra, and we go to PK. And then you get the World Baseball Classic. You get Showtime Otani going up against his teammate, Mike Trout. And this is what you want. You got two of the best players. Okay, what you got? Let me show you. Skip, he's... I don't want to say... I, but I'm going to say, yeah, he better. Because Babe Ruth did not face an integration, integrated system. He did not. He did not face the best of the best. I because agree. there were some black players that were really, really good that he didn't get an opportunity to face. He's facing the best black players, Latin players, whatever player there is. And the black players were stuck in their own league. And, and, right. Mm -hmm. In the Negro League. Yes. Skip, he, Skip, he's historically great. He's transcendent great. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want to say is Pantheon. He's to Japan what Messi is to Argentina. Mm. He's to, to Portugal what uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is. That's true. He's that big, Skip. Those are good examples. I agree. I mean, he's everything. He, no, Skip, we don't do it. He's better than advertised. Mm. You know how they show you the trailer and they're like, ooh, man, that's like a good movie. And then you go see the movie, they say the trailer doesn't do it justice. Mm. Whatever we use to describe Otani, we're not doing him justice because he has great, he's so great as a pitcher. And now you go to the other side of the plate. So how many times have we ever had the best pitcher is also the best hitter <laughs> or he's the best player? Because, mm -hmm. Kim, you know, sometimes like with the quarterback, the uh, quarterback is not necessarily the best player, but, you know, he's more valuable. He's value. He's best. He's everything. I didn't, uh, will we ever see it again? I don't know. I doubt it. I mean, it took this long for us. To, I mean, wouldn't there people hear stories? Not very many people were alive to see Beirut and his his uh, uh, exploits. Yeah. But to watch this young man at 20, Skip, if he's 24 years old, he could be the first guy to get a $500 million contract. He could literally make $50 million a year, and he'd be underpaid. Yeah. The only And that's the thing, Skip, because he's in Anaheim. We don't get an opportunity to see this, this greatness yep. on display like if he was in L.A., the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. If he was at, say, New York That's or true. with Boston with the Red Sox. Yep. But Skip, I bet. Mm -hmm. I mean, look what he gets, Skip. He went through Mookie Betts, MVP. Mike Trout, MVP. Goldsmith, MVP. He did that. What you want to... Skip, this is like, if I'm in the Super Bowl... I want to see Jerry Rice and I want to see Dion go head to head. Yeah. Okay. With a hey, ball or a hey, money on the line, we throw in the fade. What you got, Jerry? Go get it. Time, knock it down. Okay. I want to see Mike Trout. I want to see Otani. What you got? That's what we got. Okay. <laughs> Quick point before I unleash on this. To your point, Otani comes in and walks Jeff McNeil to start the the ninth mm -hmm. off. And so I think, uh-oh, this is going to be epic finish. Yeah. And all of a sudden, my man, Mookie Betts, I'm the biggest fan, and he is he's as clutch as they come. Mm -hmm. He just bounces it right into a tailor-made double play, and it was like bang, bang. And all of a sudden, you're like, what just happened? Yeah, yeah. And, and everything is deflated. And all of a sudden, I look up, and Mike Trout's at the plate, but it's now two outs, and nobody's on. So now it's do or die, Mike Trout. It's almost like one swing for all the marbles. Mm -hmm. What you got? Mm -hmm. All right, to Otani. I haven't seen this side of him when he plays for the Angels. Right. And I've watched him a lot. He ain't got nothing to play but, for. Okay. Well, you could make that case because he's played for him for five years and he hasn't played in a single playoff game or series. Yes. Not a single one in five years. Yes. And by the way, Mike Trout plays for the Angels and he played in one playoff series in 2014 yes. and they got swept by Kansas City. Yes. Okay. So you you got two. These are yes. two of the all-time greatest players ever. And they're on the same ever. team. They're on the same team and, and this is what happens. Well, it comes down to pitching, pitching, and no pitching, yeah. right? You can't and, pitch every day. And let me just quickly get this off my chest. It wasn't quite a level playing field because too many of our Scherzers and Verlanders and our top pitchers will not participate in no. this because the real games are about to start in about another week. Right. And they're like, I'm not going to risk my arm for something that doesn't really matter. Well, it matters to us because right. we're watching as Americans and we're rooting for Team USA. Right. But they don't want to – they're not going to risk it. Right. The hitters are fine with it because it's actually a great ramp up to the regular season because right. they just, it's just like extended BP, BP yep. right, or extended spring. Spring training, Okay, yeah. so that, that all works. Now, to the greatness of both of these guys, 
d despite the lack of playoff greatness, the, the regular season greatness is off the charts. Yeah. It's like nothing we've ever seen on both counts. Right. So that was as epic a matchup as you could get. Otani is so stoic during regular seasons, in, in part because maybe he's a Japanese player playing in, in America, America, in the American big leagues, and, and he doesn't speak. He, it looked like last night he, he's starting to get a pretty good handle right. on English, but he still needs his interpreter. Right. Well, when he plays for the Angels, he just stays within himself. When he was playing for Team Japan. Yeah, because everybody else skip. Everybody speaks his language. You so he it. can communicate and carry and, on and have a good and, time. And his emotions are yes. just spilling over. Because yes. he, he beat out a ground ball to first base, and he's just, like, safe. Right. And I'm like, who is that? <laughs> well, it's Otani <laughs> yeah. playing for Team Japan. Right. And he said, it, he made a speech. They showed some of the speech before. Let, let's not honor them anymore. You know, we're, we, we can beat them. Right. Let, let, let's not... Stand back in awe of them. He right. had kind of loosely translate right. what he said. Right. But but the point was, I, I saw him come out as a a very emotional competitor last yeah. night in ways that I didn't know he had. Well, his stock in my mind went way up. Yeah. Okay. So now he says, I I want to close this game. Well, he hadn't closed a game since 2016. That's a long time. Right. And, and you know, and I know the the whole psychology of closing oh, yes. is so different it's than different starting start again. Picture. Yes. And now you got to suck it up and say, I, I this is a short spurt with all I got. There's no saving myself. It's all or nothing. Right. So all of a sudden, there's his teammate Mike Trout, one of the great statistically. He, he's, he might be the top. He's a top three player statistically. Top, top top three. When you when you major hitting and fielding skill. Yeah. He's metal. Okay. Yeah, I, you, you got it. Okay. And. In six pitches, I thought he made Mike Trout look silly. That, that's, <laughs> he completely overmatched him. If we could see those six pitches, please. Because the first one's a ball. It's, it's a slider away at about 83 miles an hour. Here we go. Because um, th this shows some respect. It's a little low. And then here he comes with the fastball. And that's just, he just blew it by Ooh, him at 100. 100. Okay? And then here we go, fastball away and missed at 100. And here we go, another strike swing. He just swings right through it because he's late. And then we, we get the – this is a fastball low that he just overthrew at 101. And then that was it. He throws him a slider on three and two. And it shocked me because I thought Otani would go, you know, this is where you got to swallow a little bit of your pride and say, I just want to win the battle. I, I don't need to win the macho, right. you know, the hand-to-hand the -hand kind of battle. Right. So I don't have to go strength to strength. I'm going to throw a slider on three and two, and I'm going to throw a wicked one that you it couldn't, was. you could not it place is. it any better nope. than he placed it. Mike Trout had no chance. Right. That is game over because if you can throw that ball where you're going to cut it a little bit and you're going to throw it where you threw it, he he is done because he is gearing up trying to match 101. Yeah, he's and, he's he's geared up to hit that fastball. Yeah. So now because Otani's throwing it. Skip, he throwing it right down the plate, 100 miles an hour, and they said no matter how fast you throw it, you All put right. it down the middle of the plate, the guy can knock it out. Okay. So I have said, because I had the privilege of covering this man, and I know he's got his issues off the field, and we got all kinds of Balco issues with Barry Bonds. Yeah. I got it. I've never seen anything like Barry Bonds. As a hitter, a power hitter, an average hitter, as a fielder, won eight, eight gold, gold gloves. gloves. As a base runner, because listen, I know he got huge at right. the end, but but when he was at, in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. he could fly. Yeah, I, I'm talking about he could steal bases yeah. with the best. Of and he them. got 500 steals okay. for okay. career. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so so you, the, that all that rolled together, that was the greatest player I've ever seen. Now all of a sudden, here comes a guy who can throw 101 miles an hour, can win games as a starter, and has incredible power. They were talking about BP, where he doesn't usually he take BP. More. Yeah, well, well he, he usually goes into the cage. He, right. he likes to work on his mechanics right. more than show off out there, be right. show off, show hey, show time, right? <laughs> yeah. But, but for the WBC sake of the opposition, he went out and took swings in the cage because he wants to show you he can hit it out of the, right. literally out of the ballpark yes. because that's what kind of power he has. Okay, so now, not to short Babe Ruth, and it's almost like Babe Ruth didn't exist because he's even before my time. Yeah. But but the point is, it, it's he's so legendary that it's like he's not real. real. Like was he a candy bar, right. Baby Ruth, or yeah. was he, was he a guy? Was well, he yeah, really you, exist? Because the likelihood of now you having a player have more home runs than a team, yeah, is not going to happen. No, but that's what he was doing. Yeah. Okay. So just for the record, just quickly, Babe Ruth as a pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, he was there for six years. He was pretty great because I'm looking at 
He went 89 and 46 with an ERA under three at 2.290. Uh, uh, okay. So he started 143 games. So it wasn't like he was a part time, right. he was a full time pitcher. Yeah. So in th this is way back when, but, but it's 1916, he led the league in ERA in starts and in shutouts. And in 1917, the next game, uh, next year, he led in complete games with 35. So he wasn't any slouches. He right. wasn't just some right. ordinary, to use Cam's word, random. He right. wasn't just a random. <laughs> like, yes. he, he, he was legit. Yeah. Yet, he wasn't legit enough that at age 25, he gets acquired by the Yankees. They sold him. And he, he just says, I'm done. Right. I, I'll just be a power hitter for right. the Yankees. So he wasn't so great that, that they said, well, you got to pitch because right. we're, we're going to pay you a whole lot of money. Right. No, no, we just need you to slug. Right. And he slugged at the highest right. level. And he put up some numbers that I thought were unattainable until Barry Bonds happened. Right. Starting in that 2000, 2001, 2002. Whew, right. he, he was destroying Babe Ruth like on base right. percentage. It, records that I thought would stand forever, Barry Bonds did yeah, that. Yeah, his slugging, it was... I mean, yeah, we won't ever see that. But Skip, this, like you said, but for him to be able to do it on the mound, yeah. I mean, he's Ver, whatever Kershaw, Verlander no, right, right. at their prime pitching, right? And then you go back to hitting. He, he is that guy in, in his prime because he he is he is overmatching people yes. on the mound, and then with that kind of power and average, and and I just like to watch him hit because I used to love Ichiro, who, right. yeah, who, yeah. who you know, who had. Uh, underrated power oh. when he when he reached for yeah, it. Right. But but this guy can hit for average and power. Right. So the combination of pitching and hitting, we've never seen a human do no. this before. No, and you're probably not going to see it again. And like you said, Skip, you mentioned Ichiro, who was a former MVP. Yeah. Hideki Matsui he was. won the World he Series did. MVP. Godzilla. I don't know who's bigger than. I mean, J Godzilla is Japan. I don't know what's bigger than Godzilla, but he's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Japan, I, I, don't know, I, Skip, I don't know who's bigger than Godzilla in Japan, but he's it. And I can just imagine, Skip, I saw the, hot, the clips of uh, uh, in Argentina where Messi, they yep. found out he was at dinner. Yep. Skip, millions of people and millions of people showed up yep. to see. I bet you if he, when he goes back to Japan, Skip, he's not, well, he probably can never go anywhere. No. But can you imagine the reception yep. that he's going to get? He's mythical. He's, he's. I don't know what what he whatever uh, 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 emperor or uh, <laughs> these skip these uh, right, yeah. sumo wrestlers, yeah right, uh, uh, Takana Hane and, yeah, and all those God. guys. Yep. Skip, he's that. He's he's better than advertised. And the only thing I hate, Skip, is going unnoticed in Anaheim. And how? I know. Skip, you got two of the best. Skip, it ain't no. Well, he's way that like, like ten, and Mike Trout might be the tenth best player. You got two top five players. You do. Skip, and they finished 30, 40 games under five hundred. How? Pitching, pitching, pitching. Like they say about real estate, location, location, location. Got to pitching. Well, pitching, Skip, pitching. you got two hitters. I mean, they 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 should be able to give you like three runs by themselves a game. I I, I get it, but he, in in the end, when we picked this game yesterday at the end of the show, I told you I was going to have a hard time rooting against Otani yeah. because I. I just love watching him. I'm rooting for Team USA, but I'm kind of also hoping he has a great game. Yes. Well, he had he rose above our team. Skip, That's look what at he the did. best that we got. Look you know? what we had. Oh, our lineup. You, you, you I, can't get more loaded. Man. No. Whew. And Japan got us, man. They got us. And they, that's the third time they've won this class. Yeah. You know? We just try to do back to back like they did it. Yeah. Well, maybe it's like. Olympic basketball once upon a time when we figured out uh, we can't just keep sending college, college kids, no, right? Because no, they're sitting pros. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you better start sending the Kershaws and Scherzers and Verlanders. But here's the th you're absolutely right, yeah. Skip, because here's the thing. Every one of the players, the WBC Americans, they're in the majors. Every one of those guys in Japan is not in the majors. <laughs> no, no, they're in their majors. But, yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> they're not, yeah, right. But man, Otani, man... <laughs> It was a pleasure to watch. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.